Hi, today I'm going to discuss real estate tips for buyer. Stay tuned because at the end of the video, I'll share a buyer's checklist. I'm Kristen Stampini with Remax Services and this is Stamp TV. Let's get started. Options to buy your new home. First, buying and selling a home all at once can be stressful. And if you sell first, you could end up with no place to live until you find your perfect home. If you buy first, you might get stuck having to pay two mortgages at once. And you might want to make an offer on a home with a sale contingency. Then list your current home for sale if you're worried about selling your home too quickly and not being able to find another one to buy. Find your dream home first and then make an offer with a sale and settlement contingency. This means that your offer is contingent upon your current home selling. Use personal savings, a HELOC, or a bridge loan. Most people can't afford to pay for two mortgages at the same time or buy a home with cash. If you don't have that kind of savings, you can use a HELOC or a bridge loan to cover the cost. We also guarantee the sale of your home if you're working with us, so you don't have to worry about it. So basically, what can be done? What is a HELOC? A home equity line of credit, often called the HELOC, and pronounced HELOC. <laughs> basically is a loan which the lender agrees to lend a maximum amount within an agreed period called a term. So where the collateral is the borrower's equity in his or her house. What is a bridge loan? Basically, a bridge loan, sometimes called gap financing, is a short-term loan lent by the bank to cover the interval between buying a house and selling your old home. Note that bridge loans can be difficult to find as not many banks offer them. So you might wanna rent out your current home to cover your new mortgage if you can find renters who are willing to pay more than what you owe every month on your mortgage payment. So there's a lot of different options and basically you have to pick the best for you. Does it make financial sense to rent out your current house and purchase a new one? You know, the downside is, is that you'll need to have a down payment saved and being landlord comes with a lot of responsibility and sometimes a lot of stress too. Options to sell your current home first, put in an offer on a home with a settlement contingency, okay? As soon as you put your home on the market, which most people want to see it currently on the market, start looking at places to buy. But don't make an offer on any of them until you've accepted an offer on your home. And if you do, then make sure you have a contingency in place. If you're in this situation, it's important to know exactly what you're looking to buy so you can make an offer as soon as you find that perfect home. When you make the offer on your new home, you can actually include what's called a settlement contingency. This makes it so your offer is contingent on the current sale of your home. So this is a little bit tricky and working with the right agents are important, okay, that know how to make all of this happen and can pull through with it. So note that this is harder in a competitive market so because a seller would have to accept that, accept the contingency. Some do and some will, but in a less competitive market, this is more common. In competitive, it's a little bit harder. So it really depends. And then basically you can negotiate this. A lot of the time, the seller will ask you to remove the contingency and to leave the home on the market to get other offers. And then you would have 48 hours or something to decide on if you want to remove that contingency or not and still move on with the house. So there's all sorts of different things. You can find a temporary rental to live in. 
that's another option while you're searching for that perfect home. If you can't get a HELOC or a bridge loan and need the money from the sale of your home to buy a new one, this is a good option possibly for you. It just really depends. You know, you can sell your home and move in to a rental while a short-term rental, you search for that dream home. This is, can be a hassle, but enables you to make an offer on a home without a sale and settlement contingency. And in a market that's a busy market, this might be something for you. So hopefully you got a couple tips today. Thanks again for joining me. I'm Kristen Stampini with Stamp TV. Also have a podcast every week that is Stamp of Approval. And if you want a information and a checklist for what we discussed today, just let me know and I'd be glad to share it with you. Thanks.